Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. So, this is probably the final video of the restoration of this loco. So, today we need to clean up the model after the lubrication pen leaked all over it and me. Um, and then we need to reassemble the model. So we're going to start off with a piece of paper towel. And I've got a few bits because this is most likely not a one piece job. And basically last in the last video the um, lubrication pen leaked. So I had like a crack in it, don't know how, don't know why. And then what happened was, um, as I was squeezing it, um, the crack became a split and oil went everywhere, which is quite bad. Um, it's basically, as you can see, the oil, don't know how well you can see, that's fairly oily and greasy. Basically, I'm going to try and get all the oil off where it's not supposed to be like on this block, on this cylinder block um, basically anywhere that we don't really want it otherwise the model won't run very well I don't know how much went on the wheels but I'll check that because like I said in the last video the wheels are a bit dirty Yeah, I'm going to have to clean the wheels because there's a bit of oil on that. You don't want oil residue left on the wheels. That's the last thing you want, especially with an electric thing like this. So anyway, we just need to clean up anywhere where we don't want the oil. See, there's quite a bit on that cylinder. I don't know how well you can see. Yeah, focus. It's quite a bit on that. It's cool. Oh, went off, but then not very well. Probably the best we'll get for now. So anyway, just finish getting the oil off, and then we can start putting the motor out. The um. Oil shell back on, I guess. So, um, I'll have to do a lot more cleaning up, but then that's the oil basically off the bits that are covered, which means we can put the boiler housing and cab back on. So, this one you can see there's a bit of a catch underneath here. If I get a screwdriver just to prove it. Here's the sort of like a gap on it that the screwdriver goes into. And then there's this thing here on the front. That catchy thing has to go over that in order for that to sit back on. And for the first time in about four months, it actually looks like a B1. So you turn it up upside down. And then there's one more screw which needs to go in, which holds the back off. Sorry for my arms in the shot. Um, which then hold the back half on. Oh, come here, screw. And we need to screw that in. Which runs through the chassis and into the body. So that is that back. So then that's the model back together with its tender. Now I do think it does look really good. And um, now I'll tell you a little, a little bit of a story. Um, this might uh, end up being five and me, and it's me waffling on. I'll just warn you now. Um, so anyway, about five, six. Well, four, five, six years ago, about that time, 
Um, my dad said, take this model through to your granite's house and run it and see what it's like. Um, so I did, and obviously, as soon as I got there, the first thing I wanted to do was run it, so I did. And I opened the box and ran it. Obviously, it didn't run too well with the caps being so warped. Um, but I ran it, and then there was basically two points that you know went from the inside line onto the outside line and I was running it across them it was just the small Hornby sort of unrealistic ones you know the really short ones and the back wheels just uh, um, thought nah I have none of that and then with this being a split chassis there's like a bit of plastic in between the two metal wheels which stops obviously it from short circuiting and they'd come off there, the wheels had uncorted, so it wasn't going to run. So it so it had been a weight and restoration um, for about five years, actually. And then finally, I've got around to doing it, because my dad hasn't. Um, so basically, the things that my dad does do on the layout is he builds all of the... Eldens, he's laid the track, he does quite a lot of stuff, but the few things that he doesn't do is I think he's never heard of a track rubber because never in my life have I seen him cleaning the track on that layout. I mean, it would be a miracle if I found him one day cleaning all the track, um, and he's also never heard of overhauling a locomotive because obviously he's never done it well he has heard of it it's just he doesn't do it um so anyway i've done it hopefully it works we'll find out next week um when i test it so tune back in friday next week and then it will be tested Um, so hopefully it works, if it doesn't I'll be really upset, I mean that's almost half a year's worth of work there. So I've still got quite a bit of cleaning to do. Um, so let me just get rid of these ends. So as we can see this is a fairly new cotton board, it's quite clean on the end. Looking at these wheels, they look a bit shiny and greasy looking. Yeah, uh, look at that, there's the evidence, the art, dead greasy. So I've still got a bit of cleaning work to do. So that's the model back together. I've got a little bit more cleaning work to do and the testing of the model to do. So I'll see you next Friday when we do the testing. So if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel or for whatever reason you haven't already, then please consider so subscribing. Thank you very much for watching folks, I'll see you in the next video.